Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Friends, this is our third session for the topic powers and exponents. In the previous two sessions, we have discussed lot many problems based on the topic. In this session, we'll be taking more problems, more pattern of the problems which are asked in the examination. So, let's begin this session now. Now friends, uh, we have one more property of exponent. Suppose I have a number a and a raised to m is equal to a raised to n. So, if a raised to m is equal to a raised to n, then m will be equal to n, right? And uh, similarly, if m raised to a is equal to n raised to a, then m will be equal to n. Okay? So, if base is same, power will be same. And if power is same, base will be same. I take one example. Suppose... 2 by 3 raised to x is equal to say 4 by 9 right so 2 by 3 raised to x is equal to this is what 2 by 3 square right so 2 by 3 raised to x is equal to 2 by 3 square that means if base is same power will be same so x is equal to two. okay so let's take uh, some problems based on this uh, concept now, in this case, we have to find out the value of x. Now, you see power, uh, this uh, base in the left hand side and right hand side is same. So, first of all, let's simplify the left hand side. So, 1 upon 4 raised to, this is minus 4 and this is 8 and both of the num 1 by 4 are multiplied. So, the power will be added. Okay, so it's minus 4 plus 8. That is equal to 1 upon 4 raised to minus 4x. Now, 1 upon 4 raised to minus 4 plus 8 and 1 upon 4 raised to minus 4x. That means base is same. If base is same, then power will be same. So, minus 4 plus 8 is equal to minus 4x or we can say minus 4x is equal to 4. That means x is equal to minus 1. Okay. So, if you know this rule, the problem is very easy to solve. Let's take one or two more problems. Now, let's take this problem. Here, minus 1 by 2 raised to minus 19. And here, this is minus 1 by 2 raised to 8. Right? What I do is, I take minus 1 by 2 as maybe P. Okay? I assume minus 1 by 2 as P. So, I can solve it simply. Now, this is P raised to minus 19 divided by P raised to 8 is equal to P raised to minus 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, what will happen over here? It's p raised to minus 19 and if 8 goes up, it will be in negative. Okay. Now, p raised to minus 27 is equal to p raised to minus 2x plus 1. Now, base is same. If base is same, power will be same. That means minus 2x plus 1 is equal to minus 27 that means minus 2x is equal to minus 28 okay so that means 2x is equal to 28 that means x is equal to 14 right so the problem was simply solved because we assumed minus 1 by 2 as a uh, another simple number so the problem becomes very simple for us okay I hope you are clear Now friends, similarly we have this problem here, left hand side 3 by 2 and right hand side 3 by 2 for the base is same. Now this is 3 by 2. Uh, you wish to assume 3 by 2 as some simple number, simple variable, then also not a problem. And if you wish to write it like this, no problem, right? So it's minus 3 plus 5, right? 3 by 2 raised to 2x plus 1. Now if base is same, power will be same. So, minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, minus 3 plus 5 is 2. So, 2 is equal to 2x plus 1. That means 2x is equal to 1. That means x is equal to 1 by 2. As simple as that. Okay? Now, we have here 2 by 5. So, it's 2 by 5 raised to 
minus 3 plus 15 because multiplication sign is there so it's minus 3 plus 15 so the powers will be added okay so base is same that's why power will be same so minus 3 plus 15 is equal to 2 plus 3x 15 minus 3 is 12 12 is equal to 2 plus 3x so 3x is equal to 10 that means x is equal to 10 by 3 okay isn't it very simple just need some practice now similarly uh, it's is equal to sign over here is 5 by 4 is to minus x divided by 5 by 4 is to minus 4 if you wish you can keep it like this or you can assume a maybe 5 by 4 is equal to p okay so i just do uh, in both the manner so it's 5 by 4 raised to x divided by 5 by 4 raised to minus 4 is equal to 5 by 4 raised to 5 right now 5 by 4 so it will be like what if uh, this minus 4 uh, go into numerator then what will happen it will be added or the sign will be changed so x minus minus 4 is equal to 5 by 4 raised to 5 so it's x minus minus 4 that means x plus 4 is equal to 5 that means x is equal to 1 okay and if you wish you can go by like replacing 5 by 4 as p so it's p raised to minus x upon p raised to minus 4 is equal to p raised to 5 okay our uh, friends by mistake i have taken x over here it will be minus x i'm sorry so it will be minus x so it will be minus x plus 4 so x will be equal to minus 1 okay i'm um, sorry for that but um, i hope you must be getting the method uh, in method there is no change right now here 5 by 4 raised to p so it's p raised to minus x by p raised to minus 4 is equal to p raised to 5 so it's p raised to minus x plus 4 is equal to p raised to 5 so minus x plus 4 is equal to 5 that means x is equal to minus 1 okay so in both the way you will be getting the same answer uh, whatever method is convenient to you you can choose right you have to be very clear about and you have to be careful about the calculation error which I have done over here. So you have to be careful. Okay. Now over here it's 8 by 3 raised to uh, product sign is there between these two. So the powers will be added. So 2x plus 1 plus 5 is equal to 8 by 3 raised to x plus 2. Now base is same, so powers will be equal. So 2x plus 6, 5 plus 1, 6 is equal to x plus 2. Just solve the equation, it's very simple. 2x minus x is x is equal to 2 minus 6, that is minus 4. Okay? Now here, a different pattern. If x is this, then we have to find out x raised to minus 2. So what you do, you just simply solve it. So x is equal to 3 square by 2 square into, we write the reciprocal of 2 by 3, so the minus 4 will be converted to plus 4. So it's 3 by 2 raised to 4, okay. Now it's 3 square by 2 square into 3 raised to 4 by 2 raised to 4. Now base is same, so the powers will be added, 2 plus 4, 6. And here if the base is same, so powers will be added, 2 raised to 6, right. So it's what? 3 by 2 raised to 6. This is what x. Now what we want? x raised to minus 2. Right? So if x is equal to 3 by 2 raised to minus 6. Let's take minus 2 power both the side. So x raised to minus 2 is equal to 3 by 2 raised to 6 raised to minus 2. Okay? So x raised to minus 2 is equal to 3 by 2 raised to 6 into minus 2 that is minus 12 and if you want to have the positive exponent what you do 
you take the reciprocal of the number inside the bracket. So it's 2 by 3 raised to 12. So x raised to minus 2 is 2 by 3 raised to 12. Okay. I just have a quick recap over here. x is equal to 3 by 2 a square. That's 3 square by 2 square. And uh, to convert this minus 4 to plus 4, we take reciprocal of 2 by 3. That's 3 by 2. Then just simply expand. We'll be getting the value of x is 3 by 2 raised to 6. Okay. Now x is this, we have to calculate x raised to minus 2. So I just take the power x is um, minus 2 both the sides. So x raised to minus 2 is 3 by 2 raised to 6 raised to minus 2. So that's 3 by 2 raised to minus 12. If you wish to convert exponent to positive, take the reciprocal of the number inside the bracket. Okay, so I hope you are clear. Now here. We have to find out x raised to minus 1. So first of all, let's calculate x. So uh, power is negative. So I just take the reciprocal divided by 1 upon 4 square. That is 16 or you can write 4 square. Now it's 5 square by 4 square into 4 square by 1. Okay. So it's 5 square. So x is equal to 25. So 1 upon x will be 1 upon 25. So x raised to minus 1 that is the reciprocal of x is equal to 25 raised to minus 1 or 1 upon 25. Okay. Now it's 5 raised to 2x divided by 5 raised to minus 3 is 5 raised to 5. So we have to find out the value of x. So it's 5 raised to 2x divided by 5 raised to minus 3 is equal to 5 raised to 5. So it's 5 raised to 2x minus 3. If it goes up, it will be plus 3 is equal to 5 raised to 5. Base is same. So power will be same. So 2x is equal to 2. That means x is equal to 1. Okay. So I'm sure now you are clear with the basics of powers and exponents and we have done lot many problems on this topic. Just print the worksheet from the site and do lot many problems uh, on your own. And every worksheet is uh, accompanied by its answer sheet. So you can like uh, cross verify uh, with the answers. Okay. Now uh, we have to discuss the next thing uh, over here in this session is the how to use exponents to express smaller number in standard form. Right. And what is the standard form? Let's discuss now. Uh, friends, you might have already learned in the previous classes that how to use exponent to express numbers in standard form, right? In the previous uh, classes, you might have learned about uh, to express bigger number or large numbers in standard form. In this session and uh, or in this class, uh, we are going to learn to convert or to express very small numbers in standard form. Okay, so I just take one example over here. Uh, suppose I have maybe 0 0.3. Okay, suppose I have 0 0.3. Now, see what is the standard form? Standard form is that the decimal should come after one digit. Okay, so if we have to shift the decimal over right hand side, what we have to do? We have to divide it by 10. So just listen to me carefully. X is equal to 0 0.3. So this is actually 3 by 10. Okay, or we can say 3.0 by 10, right? And 3.0 into if 10 is 1, it's actually 1 by 10. So if I have to write it's 10, that means the reciprocal of 1 by 10. So I have to take the power as negative, right? So 0 0.3, the standard form of this is 3 into 10 to the power minus 1, right? Similarly, I take another example, maybe 25.37, uh, okay? Now what I do is 25.37 by 100. So that is 2.537 into 10 raised to power minus 2. Now, 
what we want uh, to convert that in standard form we want decimal to be here right so if i put decimal over here what i have to do i have to uh, divide it by 1000 and if i'm dividing it by 1000 i have to multiply it also to neutralize the effect so it's 2.537 into 10 raised to power minus 2 and this is plus 3 okay so finally it is 2.537 into 10 okay so standard form of this is this uh, let's take one or two more examples uh, maybe I have a number 3 5 3 9 8.2 now to convert it to standard form what we have to do 1 2 3 4 4 step left hand side we have to shift the decimal right so if we are shifting it to 4 step left hand side what we do what we will uh, do we will uh, multiply the expression after that by 10 is to power 4 right so 3.53982 into 10 is to power 4 right so if we shift the decimal to left hand side we take the positive power of 4 similarly if we have to take the decimal to the right hand side then we will multiply by the negative power of 10 okay suppose I have 0 0.03539 right now I have to shift it to side right right to get the standard form 1 or 2 so 3.539 into 10 raised to power minus 2 so it's i'm shifting it to right hand side so i'm neg taking negative power i'm shifting uh, over here on the left hand side so i'm taking the positive power okay let's take more examples now now i have this number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 places to the right hand side so 9.42 into 10 is to power minus 12 because i have shifted decimal to 12 uh, places to towards right hand side so negative power of 12 will be there so and i have shifted uh, from 12 places so that will be 10 is to power minus 12 okay similarly in this case it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 8.5 into 10 raised to power minus 10 okay in this case friends uh, we have to shift the decimal to two side left right it's what 846.0 into 10 is to power same this and this is same now we have to shift decimal to two places uh, towards left hand side okay now if I am shifting two places left hand side what will I do I'll multiply the entire expression by 10 square right so it's 10.46 into 10 is to 7 into 10 is to 2 that is 10 is to 7 plus 2 so it 8.46 into 10 is to power 9 okay so if you are shifting on the left hand side two places just add two over here if you are sh shifting right hand side then deduct uh, whatever the number or places from here okay similarly in this problem it is 0 0.000437 into 10 is to power 4 now i have to shift the decimal 1 2 3 4 4, four places this side so it's 4.37 into 10 is to power minus 4 into 10 is to power this I am copying as it is right and since I have shifted four places towards right hand side I'll uh, put the negative 4 okay so it's 4.37 into 10 is to power minus 4 and this is plus 4 I am combining these two so 10 is to power 0 and 10 is to power 0 will be what 1 so precisely this will be our answer that's 4.37 okay friends uh, I'm sure that's very easy and it's like uh, just two three four problems if you do you'll be getting expertise in this right so that's pretty good about powers and exponent so I hope you might have enjoyed this session do practice well with the worksheets bye bye